The Earth is one of eight planets around the sun, and the sun is a star. When we go out at night and we look at all the stars, are there other planets going around those stars in the same way that there are planets going around our star? Those extra planets, those planets outside of our solar system, would be called exoplanets. And 500 years ago, people thought about that there would be numerous other Earths around other suns. The term exo means outside of, where we get our term exoskeleton or exodus or exit. So we're talking about planets that are outside of our solar system, planets that orbit suns that are other stars. Are there planets orbiting all of those other stars? Well, in 1992, the first exoplanet was discovered. Since then, we've discovered over 4,000 exoplanets. We've used things like spacecraft with telescopes, telescopes here on Earth to find these exoplanets. And since we started looking and maybe just looking in earnest in the last 10 to 15 years, we found thousands of these planets that are not in our solar system, but are outside our solar system. Here's a list of those exoplanets. And you can see that that list goes on and on for quite some time. We can even see some of these that were discovered just this year. TESS is one of the spacecraft that was launched in 2018 to help find these exoplanets. But how would a spacecraft do that? The sun's too bright for us to see an exoplanet orbiting it. All the light comes from the star. So we don't see directly these exoplanets. We've got to find a way to see the exoplanet without actually observing it. And what we do is we can see how that planet affects the star. We can't see the planet, the exoplanet, but we can see what it does to the star. There are many methods that are used to detect planets, but I just want to talk about two of them right now. The first one is the wobble method. This ball represents a star. If the star didn't have a planet going around, it would just spin. But if a star has a planet, that planet's gravity is gonna slightly affect and change the way that that star moves. It's gonna cause the star to wobble. And although we can't see the planet, we can see the effect that the planet has on the star. We can see the same thing here. There's a star and here's a planet. If we start that planet revolving around the star, we could see a slight wobble in that star. And the amount of wobble is going to help us determine the size and the distance of the exoplanet. Right now, the exoplanet has a mass of 10. If we double that to 20, notice how the wobble is more. If we double that to 40, notice the increase in the wobble. The next method is called the transit method. When a planet goes across a star, the star's brightness is gonna decrease slightly. Transit means to go across. The, the prefix trans means beyond or across, where we get our words transport, transgender, transition, translate. When a planet transits or goes across a star, that star's brightness is going to drop ever so slightly. If you imagine some floodlights, if a mosquito flew in front of the floodlights, the floodlights would dim ever so slightly. Not enough that you and I would be able to tell the difference, 
but we do have some instruments and telescopes that would be able to measure that change in brightness. Here we see an animation that shows us the change in brightness as a planet moves across in front of or transits a star. The brightness dims so slightly and we could tell something, even though we can't see it, we could tell that something must have moved in front of that star.